guys. Uh, I know it's been a really long time since I made a video, and I feel like maybe every video I ever make will start with that same intro, um, but at least I'm back, and I'm blonde, and I've been going through some stuff, and I wanted to share it with you. In quick summary, I ended my relationship with my partner of three years. I began a new relationship with someone that was long distance, and then I moved across the country to California to be with them. Um, that relationship quickly disintegrated, but while I was in California, my little brother died, um, and I pretty much had no one to talk to. Uh, I did work at Disneyland for about a month and a half, <laughs> and I didn't have a very good time, um, but I did it, and I got a sparkly name tag, and that's all that matters. Uh, and then, I, in the past month, I moved home to take care of my mom, um, because she's not doing very well. The purpose of this video is not to say that my troubles are worse than anyone else's. I just know that a lot of people are curious of what's been going on with me, and I just wanted to give a little bit of an update, I guess, uh, without delving too much into detail because it makes me really sad. <laughs> um, but my family is very glad to have me home, and I'm happy to be home. Um, but upon arriving here, I I've kind of finally had to face my grief. I've had a very rude awakening, um, and I've had to really come to grips with the reality of my life now. My mom's house is in the Adirondack Mountains. Uh, it's pretty much as isolated as you can get. I don't have any friends that live anywhere near me. Uh, my closest friend is 30 minutes away, and then about an hour away after that, and even then. Uh, they're my friends from high school, and while I love them so much, uh, they're not the people that I've, I've been around for the past few years, so there is a bit of a disconnect. So really, again, I feel isolated. I have my mom to talk to, and my family, who are very, very glad to have me home. And uh, while that's really nice, uh, it's, it's hard to just talk to your family all the time, and not talk to anyone your own age, or anyone else who's been through the same situation as you, or something like that. So if you ask me how I've been dealing with my grief, it's mostly just been laying in bed and staring at the ceiling, uh, watching a lot of Netflix, and drinking a little too much. I haven't gotten a job yet since I got home. I've barely unpacked. Some days it's hard to get up and take a shower, but I'm doing it. And I'm doing it with the hopes that if I keep doing it, eventually it will start to feel natural again. I know that things will get better. It's just a matter of the time passing. Even with my relationship ending, I haven't had the energy to cry about it. I'm just sad. And it just, it's like a pit in my stomach, you know? There's nothing I can do to let the negative energy out. I've been writing, I've been talking to people, I'm seeing a therapist, I started antidepressants, but it's a very, very long process just trying to process, and I've started finally to do it. Three months later. Um, my little brother died almost exactly three months ago, and his birthday is next week, and it's gonna be really tough to deal with that and I am not quite sure how I'm gonna be able to handle it. But I'm out here doing it, doing my best, and I don't really know what the point is of this video or what I'm expecting to get back. I just want to share myself with you so you know what's happening with me. Um, it's a lot easier to do this than to re reply to the texts that I get all the time, um, which I see and I appreciate, but sometimes I just don't have the energy to respond to. Um, honestly, more strangers have reached out to me from Tumblr or Instagram or Snapchat than some people that I considered my friends, which is crazy to me, and kind of sad, but also really, really nice. And I really appreciate um, the internet community that I'm a part of, and I really appreciate my family and my friends, and I just am very, very grateful for the people around me. And I think that all of us should be really grateful for the people around us. 
I jump into things completely without thinking. I give my whole heart. And while I think that that's kind of a reckless way to live, I also think that maybe it's nice to tell people that I love them when I do, because you never know if they're going to be around to say it again. And with that, I will leave you. I love you. Have a good day.